Dr. House. Luke, we're making Dr. House wait. That's okay. We're just here for the music. We mark you. We are low. It's raining. Nobody's watching. I'd be to dinner on Thursday night. Come on, we haven't had a nice meal together since so Yesterday, when I loaned you $5,000 to buy a new car. My treat. Two-wheeled vehicles that travel 150 miles an hour don't really go well with crippled, irresponsible drug addicts. Actually, two-wheeled vehicles that go 180 miles an hour do not go well with healthy, responsible architects who don't know how to separate braking and turning. Good news is, bring the price right down. You're taking it back. Mom! How about we talk about this over dinner? Forget dinner. You're gonna kill yourself. You'd rather have dinner with your wife? Yes, I would. If she were speaking to me. Unlike her, I can make it worth your while. Fine. Should I drive? Uh, no. And I'm not letting you in my car until I see your wallet. Thanks. Now, be a grown-up and either tell Mommy and Daddy you don't want to see them, or I'm picking you up at 7 for dinner. Hey, well, what do you mean? You just said that you... I lied. I've been lying to you in increasing amounts ever since I told you you looked good unshaved a year ago. It's a little experiment, you know, to see where you draw the line. Over here. <sighs> Dr. Wilson, I want you to meet my stalker. Waiting room sucks. I am not treating you. Because you're a closet case? We're not uh, together. He is so self loathing. What are you hiding? I'm gay. Oh, that's not what you meant. It does explain a lot, though. No girlfriend, always with Wilson. Obsession with sneakers. Uh, excuse me. Hello. Hey, honey, how are the kids? They miss me? This may take a minute. Hello? It's for you. House. Do you know your phone's dead? Do you ever recharge your batteries? What the hell did you do? Were you just cold and lonely? Of course he told you he's an eight-year-old boy. Hey, you're the one who kissed him. Wait, why are you so worked up over this? Because you're married. Not to you. This is none of your business. The last time you left, I was the one stuck picking up the pieces. Oh, right. He cried himself to sleep every night. That so sounds like him. He's been pining for five years. You're being dramatic. No, actually, I'm underplaying. This is me being restrained. It was one kiss. Are you being intentionally thick? This was not just a one-night stand. You can't toy with him. I'm not. He's probably toying with me. I, I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, boy. House, this is God. Look, I'm a little busy right now. I'm supposed to talk during these things. Got time Thursday? Let me check. Oh, I got a plague. How about Friday? <sighs> Do I have to check with Cameron? Oh, damn it. She always wants to know why bad things happen. Like I'm gonna come up with a new answer this time. House. Quick, God, smite the evil witch. Are you sitting on evidence that your patient was sexually abused by her father? God, why have you forsaken me? Brilliant idea sending Stacy away. It's really done wonders for you. Listen, none of this has anything to do with Stacy. Right. Giant coincidence that you've gone completely off the rails since she left. Inducing migraines, worsening leg pain. Ow! Oh, you miss Stacy too? This isn't gonna work. What? You, staying here. You're kicking me out? 
After one night? Well, you think we should try counseling first? Why do you want to sleep on a couch anyway? You got money. At least until the divorce is finalized. I'll be out of your hair tomorrow. What's left of it? You think answered the problem? Can you stop stuffing your mouth with pancakes for one second? These aren't pancakes. These are macadamia nut pancakes. Wilson made them and they're amazing. You have one new message. Hi, this is Blake Hanson calling to Dr. Wilson. Uh, I got a better offer for the apartment. Now, uh, I know I offered it to you already, so if you match the offer, you can still have the place. Make sure you call me first thing in the morning and let me know. Otherwise, well, you got my number. Known was a stupid idea. Unless you wanted me to get that girl in the elevator. Oh, I wouldn't do that. Wouldn't respect you if you did. Wow. Looks like somebody filed halfway through your cane while you were sleeping. Obviously, want to bust me. Why, why would you? Either you go all in, or I tell everybody in the building that you wear toenail polish. I'm all in. Are you gonna call? You know, relative to its size, the barnacle has the largest penis of any animal. <laughs> with me I don't think that's a great idea but we're okay house you are as God made you I find it very comforting you defending a man you haven't seen in years to know my friend, no matter what, will always be my champion, my protector. I'm not protecting him, I'm smacking her. The modesty of the true hero. Push me and I'll let her die, just so you'll stop annoying me. Listen, oh, sorry, okay. It's not what you think. I rub his leg. Oh, Ingrid. Hi. What exactly did Cuddy tell you? Nothing that your body language isn't telling me right now. So, what was the plan? I'd feel so humble. I'm missing a case that I'd reevaluate my entire life, question the nature of truth and goodness, and become Cameron. Something like that. More than if we told you the truth, that you solved a case based on absolutely no medical proof, you'd think you were God. And I was worried your wings would melt. God doesn't limp. Gravity is working against me. And gravity. What about these? This is getting. If it's got my name on it, it's a legit script. You sure? Because the, uh, the signatures on these look a little different than the signatures on those. You look surprised. No, I'm just... I hadn't thought about it. I do sign my name differently sometimes. <laughs> Are you sure? Yeah. 
I just I guess I get bored signing it the same way. You know what they say about doctor's handwriting. I'm going to give you a moment to reconsider that answer. Because if you are, for some reason, mistaken, we will find out. And I will not be good for you or Dr. House. I am sure, absolutely. Plans for tonight? You're worried I'm going to be popping more pills? Thought you might prefer people over pills. <laughs> I got you something. Nice. I figured it might help make a good impression on the judge. It's not that nice. I had no business blaming you for any of this. I know you were just trying to help me. Protect me. That's what friends do. Is this an apology? Part of the program. If you don't like it, I can stop. Not at all. It's just so... unfamiliar. Please, keep going. I am so tired of this. Did you know that the new nurse from cardiology is sleeping with that weird lawyer from the board? The guy with 11 fingers? He has 11 fingers? How do you not notice that? The nurse used to be a man. She's not anymore. But we can't talk about that. I thought we were. We were supposed to talk about that. I came here to talk about that. But on the way up, I ran into Cameron. You've got a SEPA patient. Mm. Training nurse is more interesting. Oh, it's way more interesting, but instead, I've got to be your damn conscience. The more interesting question isn't what you dreamed, but why. I'm guessing you're, you're longing for either a renewed relationship with your dad, or a new relationship with one of the village people. He's in the Navy, not the Marines. I thought your dad was in the Marines. The guy in the village people. Actually, he's only in the Navy when they sing in the Navy. The rest of the time, he's just in generic fatigue. What? You brought it up. You didn't flush. I didn't pee. I can't believe you called me. Hey, I need a condo. Didn't you and Wilson have your first date around here? Wow, you remember where our first date was. I didn't think you were paying attention. Really? He's my best friend. Our first date was in Boston. Oh, not quite as close to here as I remembered. But we're not here to talk about him. Absolutely not. Where do you see the kitchen? All granite countertops. Since I wasn't paying attention back then, what was it like dating him? You dosed me. Yes, I did. But only because you didn't trust me. Your best friend. You could have killed me. That means I'm going to kill you. You don't know my medical history. I, 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 I could have... You could have given me a heart attack. Well, a heart attack is not going to kill you. You were in a hospital. <gasps> Aha! You yawned. Uh huh. You tried to kill me. I put you on uppers and you still yawned. It means it's a symptom of being a big fat liar. Yawning is a side effect of some antidepressants, apparently the ones you're on. I'm not on antidepressants, I'm on speed. Jeez. 47. I hope my colon looks better than this guy's. Isolating the first transverse. Help! I'm trapped inside a monitor! Not a good time, House. You got a page, but not from us. Mm -hmm. 
you ever see Raid on Antibi? Yeah. In the end, they released the hostages. How's that working for you? The Ugandans played fair. They didn't move the hostages on the Israelis. Once again, I'm in awe of the kidnappers' tactical brilliance. What is El Fuego de la Mor? Why do you need ten of them? It's a... It's a telenovela. I'm learning Spanish. Well, say adios. Are you erasing my TiVo? House, not the season finale. I don't negotiate with terrorists. I smoke them out of their high heels. Do you know what terrorists do when you don't negotiate? They terrorize. Bring it on. business or guys could, could multiple could multiple guys or gal who knows all I can say is this reeks of boldness I am not hiring a team you ever tighten the guitar string really really slowly past the point it can handle the strain it makes this weird sound almost like a scream You're an idiot. You nearly killed yourself. It was the whole idea. You wanted to kill yourself? I wanted to nearly kill myself. Just looking at you hurts. I'm gonna order up some extra pain meds. I love you. Well, you certainly did the right thing by coming to me. Yes, I needed a smug oncologist. An authoritative oncologist. I hate you. Tell me why. I've been scanning literature, very interesting study in Sweden. Apparently, Giovannini's patients mimic whoever they think's in charge. Any country with that low an age of consent and that higher rate of suicide isn't thinking straight. I am in charge of our relationship. It was a surgery. You were the surgeon in that setting. You would pick up my laundry if I asked you to. Go ahead, ask. Oh, I wouldn't do that to you. Well, it's great how he rebounded from that setback. What setback? He didn't tell you about the... Well, it's his right. The records were sealed. Personally, I think he was just tapping his foot and reaching for the toilet paper. Obviously, it was a witch hunt. Do you think they singled him out because... No, literally a witch hunt. Dr. House is a practicing Wiccan. It's a beautiful religion. It's very caring. Hey, 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 hey. You have an all-access pass to the case, not my fave fives. Now go. Come on, come on, let's go. Where are we going? Nowhere, I just know it hurts you. The angels of Christmas have finally given House a present he can appreciate. Oh, don't ruin it. Don't pin this on Christ. He's got enough nails in him. The patient had to die. Why don't you but... take out that hat? It's Christmas. It's a reindeer. It's a moose on a Jew. Who cares? Wait a second. This isn't just about the sex. You like her personality. You like that she's conniving. You like that she has no regard for consequences. You like that she can humiliate someone if it serves. Oh my God. You're sleeping with me. You're right. Why not? Why not date you? It's brilliant. We've known each other for years. We've put up with all kinds of crap from each other, and we keep coming back. We're a couple. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Why are you doing this? Every time I agree with you, you find a new argument. What are you trying to avoid? Well, if you looked at me with those flashing eyes before I was involved... Say la vie. And I use the French because... You're an ass. I'm proposing I get every other day and every other weekend. 
I have yoga Wednesday, so you can have him then. But you have to have him home by 11. We can swap weekends. Mondays and Wednesdays and midnight. If he's not home till midnight, we won't be asleep till almost 2. Wilson, make a ruling. <laughs> uh, no. You are King Solomon. If you want us to cut him in half, we're cool with that. My boyfriend's too much of a wuss to make the call for himself. And I mean that with all the love in the world. I'm gonna piss off one of them and they both scare me. One type wants to find out that they're right. One type wants to find out that they're wrong. Which type am I? You're the third type. You lead with the irrelevant types? Your type doesn't care if you're right or wrong because they've hired me to investigate the wrong person. That's an actual type. You want me to check out Wilson? You want to find out if he's... How do you know about Wilson? What do I do for a living? Are you checking me out? I've been paying for that? Um, so far, you haven't paid for anything. You want to find out he's pining. You want to find out if there's something about him that will tell you he's going to come back or something you can use to make him come back. Is there? No, no, there's nothing. Sorry. That's how we met. I was in jail. This guy was a total stranger to you, and you bailed him out? It's a boring convention. It had somebody to drink with. And there's the foundation of our entire friendship. If you hadn't been bored one weekend, it wouldn't even exist. Hey, there were 3,000 people at that convention. You were the one I thought wasn't boring. That says something. Oh, cut the crap. You enjoy what I do. I never had to force you. You like coming along for the ride. Yes, that's why I'm cheering you on now. This is about you needing to be prepared for the worst. So you become an oncologist. No surprises there. Worst happens all the time. But Amber, she was young and healthy. Her death came out of nowhere. Don't bring Amber into this. And you weren't ready. That makes you angry. The world sucks and you didn't have time to brace yourself. What happened out there is your show. You're scared to death of losing anyone that matters, so you dump the person who matters the most to you. I'm not scared to death. I'm moving forward. Because no one can take away from you what you no longer have. <laughs> Your father's death is about you. Amber's death is about you. I can't imagine why someone wouldn't want to be your friend. Admit it. You're angry and you're scared of losing me. I'm not angry. I'm not Admit scared. It. I'm not Admit afraid. Admit it. I've lost Admit people. It. it happens. Admit it. What are you, five? Stop repeating. Admit it. 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 Come on. Admit it. Admit it. <laughs> Still not boring. If you're coming back just because you're attracted to the shine of my neediness, I'd be okay with that. Don't you hate when they put the mushrooms underneath the cheese? They have to be done every couple hours. You're punishing me because you're jealous that I'm spending time with your best friend. That would be petty. I'm punishing you because now you join my best friend in lying to me. Let me know when you're ready to confess everything. Where are we going? Experimenting. Stop it, Dr. Wilson. It's just not cute anymore. I'm a hallucination, not a fantasy. It's insomnia. Four nights without REM sleep cause. That might explain why you're hallucinating. Doesn't explain why you're hallucinating Wilson's dead girlfriend. Probably just my secret and very unconscious desire to get Wilson into my bedroom. But not for me. I sit and watch as tears go down. My riches can't buy
It says that Beethoven's fifth is going to be poop tomorrow. What was my one condition for allowing you to tag along? Try not to be a jerk. I'm trying. Just failing. Roll your meatballs and keep an open mind. How hard are you trying not to make a ball joke right now? They're smoking. For balls. Oh! No, no, no! They're browning way too fast. Blue's the color you gotta watch out for. Enough! Look out, they're, they're still raw inside. By the time they're cooked through, the outside will be burnt. I think there's a medicated powder for that. Although, vinegar could work. My O-Chem prof talked about theoretically you shouldn't trust the results of a hemoglobin A1C test on a chronically acidotic patient. The acid in the blood slows the reaction between the hemoglobin protein and blood sugar. Browning meat is the same chemical process, which means it should also be slowed by acid. That actually makes sense. You might have saved my balls. That's the spirit. Great. You're up. I need a taster. Ragu with pork sausage, beef thigh, no cream. It's a little early. Did you even go to bed last night? Bed is for sissies. Star anise with the caramelized onions, sulfur compounds bring out the meat flavor. I couldn't sleep because of my leg. Just either make ragu or go out on the street looking to score. Good choice. So, so good. If you wanted a quickie, you should have called ahead. I'm a mess. Hi, Dad. I think I've been focusing on the wrong thing. And where are some good times? Wilson! This is stupid. You see, he really is getting better. The operation is in two hours, and I'd like you to be there with me. No. What? Why? If you die, I'm alone. Favorite sushi place? Maybe we could get dinner sometime. Sure. If you promise to bring that good looking guy with the cane. <laughs> you mean House? Your boyfriend's name is House? <laughs> he, he, he's not my boyfriend. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> well, well, what do you call each other? Husband? Partner? Lover? <laughs> We're not gay. Seriously? Everyone in our building thinks we're gay. <clears throat> we're grown men over the age of 30 who moved in together. We're two tigers away from an act in Vegas. Are you sure your friend isn't secretly tr What is a culotte anyway? And pants that hang like a skirt. Just... It's 2010. I mean... <laughs> You know, nobody cares if you're gay anymore. I mean, you don't have to be in the closet. <laughs> I'm not. I... Look around you. Does this really look like a place gay men live? Apa <laughs> apart from the poster. Those stools are our only furniture. There are no window treatments. What? My ex-boyfriend didn't even know what window treatments were. House. 
are you doing here? I'm here because... Nothing you can say is going to change anything. I love this man. And I am not wasting another moment of my life denying that. Gregory House, will you marry me? Wow. This is unexpected. Say yes! But in the great game of chess that is our relationship, Wilson sees only one move ahead. I see dozens. That is why he will never mate me. That's a chess term. What are you doing tonight? Masturbating. I'd invite you, but people are already talking. Decorator didn't pick this. You're gonna have to buy your own cape. what this says about you, Wilson. There may have been some contact, but I'm not gay. Sodomy, one of the top 10 most common household accidents. I did a lot of stupid things, but I turned my life around. I'm as straight as any of you. You don't have to believe. Everyone wants their stuff. That's why it's their stuff. Everyone doesn't pay five times what it's worth. I like my stuff. Hated when Wilson moves it. Oh. This is not about Wilson. <laughs> Why are you and Wilson friends? Do you think this friendship is the best you can do? Wilson is not a consolation prize. There. You're defending him. And a minute ago, he was skulking around in the background like some sort of manipulative Iago. He's my friend. Why didn't you let him in? You were thinking about Wilson while we were having sex. That's so cool, so was I. Hey, stuck? Bummer, looks painful. Will you please just, please let me in? So, why did you lie about Cuddy? To make a point. Probably something to do with shutting you up. It's my go-to idea. You do seem okay. You want me to stick around? I can do my usual thing of pretending I like watching monster truck rallies, if that would make you feel better. No, you go. House, you could have died. You had a patient who did die in your arms. You shouldn't be alone. I know. That's why I call the hooker. Now go away. You'll be extra. I could see you on this one. 
Am I wearing a dashiki? <laughs> you really like these, or are you just avoiding a touchy conversation? Yeah. This one's too metrosexual. This one's too heterosexual. Cuddy will be back in an hour and ten minutes. I'll be back in an hour and five. Oh, no, you don't. Oh, yes, I do. You're not going to leave the kid. Yes, I am. Because unlike you, I don't have a conscience. And unlike you, I'm not having sex with Cuddy, so I actually can leave. You're bluffing. What are you going to tell her? You're going to tell her that you left coins out and you left her child unsupervised. Hey, hey, hey. You are not going to pin this on me. Rachel needs to be monitored for 24 hours to see that the dime passes. You know, just to make sure she doesn't die. You're telling me to do the right thing while climbing out a window. Hello. Hello. I'm the friendly moose who lives outside your bedroom. She hates that moose. Tickles. That's because I'm the tickle monster. <laughs> tickle you even more. Look, look, look at that. We need an x-ray to be sure. Great. Just give her an unnecessary dose of radiation. It's a dime. Prime location for pooping out. We'll give her some laxatives to help it on its way. Sounds to me like someone's going to get some yummy chocolate. Chocolate. Yum, yum, yum. You're gonna make a great mommy one day. I can't. I forgot her stuffed animal at home. It's been with her through all the chemo sessions so far. I need Lammy. She doesn't want me to do it alone. Honey, there's no other way. You're just gonna have to be brave, okay? What if I get someone to sit with her while you run home and get Lammy? I'll get a nurse, then I have to deal with a very sick man. Why are you late? Your next dental appointment is in January, and you just saw your GP eight days ago. I think stage four glioblastoma in an eight-year-old could disappear in three weeks. I had a flat tire. Your patient has cancer? Your tires have got less than 5,000 miles on them. No, and neither is my patient's daughter. I hit a piece of rebar near a construction site. In three weeks? It's highly unlikely. There's no construction site between here and your home. I agree. I think it was a misdiagnosed cyst. But there is one between here and my dry cleaner. It could be a misdiagnosis, or it could be spontaneous remission, but... Why would I lie about this? I don't know yet, but you would have dropped off your tie. It's got a mustard stain. You look smashing, Miss Moneypenny. Come Bond. Very foolish, Mr. Bond. Sam left me. What a moron. Too soon. I'm still in love with her. I meant you. Do you have a drink or drinks? Cuddy's coming over. Does she know you're here? I apologize to her. Good for you. Not really. I lied. Just took your advice. Too bad you didn't. Good for you. Just what is so exciting, you have to blow off both of us to do it. I just want to sit on my couch, in my underwear, drink scotch, and watch The Real Housewives in New Jersey. By myself, I just want one night off. Is that so much they ask? Yes. yes. You have to choose one of us. I choose Wilson. Good. Because he's coming to my birthday dinner. I do not whine. You coming over? Yes. 
Oh, no, I can't. Wilson. It's, uh, bowling night. You'll never forgive me if I don't. No, screw it, I'm coming. No, 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 I am not going to be responsible for that. You drug the man, you go bowling with him. Well, my chances of sex are considerably lower with Wilson. Oh, I'm so surprised you broke into my apartment without telling me. What is this? An intervention. Exhibit A, a baggie filled with Nepeta Kataria, also known as... That had better not be what I think it is. You mean your new junkie girlfriend, then yes. House. Okay, fine. I got a cat. Release the Kraken. I don't think you appreciate the severity of your situation. You are rapidly approaching end-stage male spinsterism. That cat, that diabetic cat that you're shooting up with insulin and buying dime bags of catnip for, that means you've given up on ever finding anyone. Officer, you have my word, it won't happen again. Because next time, she won't get caught. <laughs> Honey, I'm home. Just in time. Pot roast is ready. It smells wonderful. I cured all my patients, so I came home to spend time with Rachel. And how was your day today? It was great, Ma. I got 100% on my spelling test and 170 on my LSATs. Your LSATs? You're eight years old. We've been studying together. It was supposed to be a surprise. Well, that's wonderful. I think Rachel deserves a treat. No, thanks, Daddy. It might spoil my appetite. Well, who could that be? Delivery for you, Mrs. House. Happy 29th birthday. I'm not 29. You're not limping. This isn't possible. None of this is possible. Girl can dream. Good morning, sir. I've got your deluxe breakfast for two. I right, had to count the strawberries. <laughs> Don't worry. You can trust me with anything, including your food. After he and I have sex, I'm going to slit his throat and then disembowel him in the bathtub. Oh, no problem. I'll cancel the morning maid service. Would you like me to have them clean up later when they come to turn down your bed? OK. This might not be such a bad idea. Why don't you move back in with me? At least until you get back on track. What an ego. You think you're some sort of emotional paragon you might rock? I'm trying to be a friend. At least I have the good sense not to marry or a woman I fall into bed with. Maybe you should move in with me. Either way, if you prefer. I prefer you to stop talking about this. House, we haven't even started talking about this, except to establish the fact that you're fine, which clearly you aren't. Leave me alone! No. We are going to talk about this, and we're going to deal with this. I have no choice. Fine. Unless. Unless. Yes, I do. I do have legs. It's understandable. I hate when you do that. You respond to what you think I'm thinking, because you think that I think like you do. It's insulting and annoying. You're scared because nothing excites you. Fun doesn't excite you. Puzzles don't excite you. What's left? And I was saying, you're right. You're upset, you're depressed. Everything's gonna taste a little worse right now, but It'll pass. It's understandable. You're scared because you think I'm falling apart. And you're trying to convince yourself that you're overreacting. I don't know, though the fear keeps me moving. Still my heart beats so slow. My body is a...
Congratulations on your engagement. I hear a strange voice. A very soft looking man. Must be the field zone. Is extra crispy or original recipe? Wilson, um, I'd like to get your advice about a cancer patient. Kendall Pearson. Oncology rounds, everyone's talking about it. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm, my back's acting up. Oh. Um, so, what would you do? I would keep trying to convince her to have the surgery. And if she kept saying no? I would just keep, <clears throat> keep, I keep trying. I know there's a chicken under there. Oh, thank God. I just want to peck through one pair of my loafers. So that's all you do? That's all you can do. Is it? <laughs> Isn't that house's chicken? Disgusting beasts. I don't know why I ever agreed to this bet. So call it off. And lose $20? responsible for this chicken? Does anyone know who owns the chicken? That bird belongs to Dr. Gregory House. You can't always get what you want. So the victor of the spoils. Your bird recover okay? Physically, yes. Emotionally, it was a long night. Next week, ferrets. Pay up. Let's go. Let's go. Bet's off. Fight was fixed. The punch barely even touched him. You bet on Foley to beat Zachary? Speed beats power. Unless speed has been paid to speedily take a dive. He touched him enough to put him on the canvas, and the official counted him out, which means you officially owe me 50 bucks. We bet on a sporting event. That was not sporting. In less than 30 seconds, that was barely even eventy. OK, here's what I saw. You lost. And I won. Yeah, well, you can take that to your grave. You're not taking my 50 bucks. Prove it. Prove it or pay up. You got one day. And don't make me send my boys out looking for you. What? All right. Ha! Proof. Just because he wasn't hit in the face. Look at his pupils. He has anisocoria, which given his age, the adrenaline surge of the fight, the fact that he's still alive, means he was tachycardic. He has wolf Parkinson White syndrome. The bet was on who would win, not who would live the longest. If he's physically unable to continue because of a pre-existing illness, then it's technically a no contest, which means all bets are off. You know that just because I was right about this one fighter doesn't make you any less of a man. Actually, it would, if you were right. Then, as I said earlier, prove it. And one possibly photoshopped cell phone pic does not a diagnosis make. You were wrong. It's not the end of the world. Anything else you want to say? You have a problem. 
I think if you seriously look at everything that... Anything else? Okay, look, this isn't... Okay, 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 okay. No. I don't. Just get out of here. Go home, we'll talk later. Someplace without any of my stuff. Nothing to talk about. That was my point. You're lucky. What are you doing here? You hoping for someone else? Hot nurse, candy striper, someone who doesn't speak English, someone who doesn't speak judgmental. You're an ass. What if we're trying to walk on a freshly mangled leg? Performing surgery on myself for thinking I could solve my emotional problems with rat medicine. If you're gonna nag, at least have a decency to be specific. Come on. Listen to me. You can't keep going like this. Something has to change. Can I pee first? I know. We sent a uni over to his apartment in the hospital. Yeah, he won't be there. Any ideas? When you find him, you're gonna arrest him? Is there some reason you think I shouldn't? Knowing him, he'll be in a bar. He'll find one that matches how he feels inside. It'll be the most dark, depressing hole you can find in New Jersey. Okay. So maybe I am trying to numb myself a little. Because I'm trying to change. I'm trying to stop being self-destructive. So you can only handle not self-destructing by being self-destructive? What do you want from me? I don't know, House. But I'm worried about you. I don't know how many times I can watch you cut off pieces of yourself. Now it's the ICU, next time it'll be the morgue. You're miserable, and you're angry, and I want you to actually deal with that, and not just try to medicate the issue away. Since an 18-year-old with organ donor on his license is not a cancer patient, figuring the recipient is a lifetime member of the Wilson Cares Too Much Club. Excellent deduction. You're the reason I'm out of the big house. Doesn't quite make up for never visiting. Springing you was Foreman's idea. I wasn't convinced until Simpson failed three times. I'm also the same thing. You wanted me back. See, I knew you'd overinterpret it. Strong emotional reaction. I guess that's what lifetime membership gets you. How's your wrist? Healed, thank you. I was wrong. I went to prison. I paid the price. You're a changed man. I said I was wrong. I didn't say I changed. I haven't. Neither of you would Analyze it however you like. We're not friends anymore. This is so our song. I want to be understanding. It's your first day back. See? I smell empathy. Remember all the good times. Like when I gave you that necklace and you just dumped in the ocean. What were you thinking? House, I haven't forgotten our friendship. For every good memory, there's a slew of bad ones. Come, Come in. in. What do you got? 
Number three went to a baseball game the day before he donated. Boredom is not transmissible. He ate a bag of peanuts, and peanut proteins would be. If our donor had an allergy, could explain the lungs. Nice. What? Nothing. Don't start that. Start what, man? Enjoying our conversation. The repartee. There was no repartee. That was repartee. I'm not doing this for you. I'm doing it to help my patient. It's just good to hear your voice. Goodbye. You were right to push me. I needed that. Thank you. So we're good? It was good advice. Just came here to say thank you. I like you. I have fun with you. If you can honestly say that you don't like me, you don't have fun with me, I can accept that. But just do whatever you have to do to get over this. Punch me in the face, kick me in the nuts. Either or. Both seems excessive. The thing is, House, I don't like you. Dinner later. I'll pick something up. I heard about a good new vegetarian place. Screw that. I want a steak. I'll meet you at your place at eight. your page you're an ass admit it let me down after you admit it I'm a little tired eh? all right I admit it despite the fact that I know there's a gun in here I'd never find it because you are more devious clever devious mm. all right Fine, clever. More clever, and you'll always be one step ahead of me. Gotcha! You poor dumb bastard. You know that close to 1% of the population identifies as asexual? You really gotta get you laid. I have to plow that furrow myself. Need my apartment key back. 
If you're breaking up with me, can we at least talk about it first? Maybe if you weren't all nag and no shag. I don't sleep with married men. I'd like to run some tests. For what? Where's this coming from? Hepatic encephalopathy. I've watched you destroy your body with Vicodin for years. I'm surprised your liver's lasted this long. I'll do the examination myself. While having you juggle my jewels sounds interesting. There's no such thing as friends with benefits. It always gets weird. <sighs> Neighbor's baby again? I could hear it through earplugs, two pillows, and three sleeping pills. Hmm. What is wrong with you? I just said, hmm. You're trying to figure out some deeper significance to my having a couple of crappy nights. Which one of us is analyzing the word hmm here? The fact that you're the only fruit on your family tree is getting to you. I have cancer. You were a little short with me the other day. You do need an excuse. Cancer may be overplaying it. Stage two thymoma. I didn't want to tell you until I had it confirmed. I got the tests back this morning. I have cancer, Rose. Is that our precious little bundle of tumor? They grow up so fast, don't they? Go away. I have a headache. We don't have to have sex. Sometimes it's nice just to cuddle and talk. If things go wrong, I just want you to know. If you're going to say that you've always been secretly gay for me. Everyone always just kind of assumed it. Ah. <laughs> uh, ah. Uh, ah. Uh. I need more morphine. We're out. Uh, You've been using my personal supply of painkillers for the last eight hours. Uh, you have you you have enough for both of us? I got enough stashed around here for a minion. Mm. Uh. Just remember they're a gift, so it's rude to keep throwing them up. Uh. up. BP's tanking. White blood counts at 500. We have to go to the hospital now. No. I don't no. have the equipment or the meds to handle this. No. Win or lose. Win or lose. That was the deal. It was the deal when there was an war. You can't win this. No. No. I'd rather die here. Not in an ambulance. Not in the hospital. I can't. Please. You can't do that to me. I... House. You... Please. Promise me that you won't do that to me. Promise me.
You said you had plenty of Vicodin. Everybody lies. I'll see you at lunch. We'd make it a road trip. 80s music, junk food, beer. I have a dental appointment that I'm going to make now. Ah, uh, I'll let you drive. Not worth listening to you whine about your feelings and fears for three days. It's not going to happen. I've taken a vow. People don't change. You are a person. Ergo, pass. Yes, that's why I brought this. 20 cc's of propofol. You can accompany me willingly, or I will, when you least expect it, inject the contents of this vial into your bloodstream. The fall might result in a concussion or fractures, or you might get lucky and simply wake up somewhere near Allentown with a nasty headache. The choice is yours, and in case you've forgotten, I am indifferent. We leave tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. Uh -huh. In three days, you're gonna find out if you live or die. You don't want to talk about it. No, but obviously you do. So we're going to talk about it, but because I want to. I am neither talking about it nor talking about not talking about you it. You are hardwired to talk about it. It's how you cope. It's who you are. Yeah, well, from now on, I'm not me. I'm... I'm Kyle Calloway. Thought your porn name was Rusty Packard. Kyle is roguish, carefree, and shares no qualities with James Wilson. Kyle drives stick. Try a twosome first? Two women. Oh. I can live without Kyle. Snowball? Just dinner. It depends on how much you have to drink. Sounds nice. House was an ass. He mocked anyone, patients, co-workers, his dwindling friends, anyone who didn't measure up to his insane ideals of integrity. He claimed to be on some heroic quest for truth, but the truth is, he was a bitter jerk who liked making people miserable. And he proved that by dying selfishly, numbed by narcotics, without a thought of anyone. 
A betrayal of everyone who cared about him. Phone. million times he needed me, and the one time that I needed him... Oh, come on, this is a funeral. Just get it. <laughs> well, this is embarrassing. I could have sworn I turned this off. This isn't my phone. You're destroying your entire life. You can't go back from this. You'll go to jail for years. You can never be a doctor again. I'm dead, Wilson. How do you want to spend your last five months? When the cancer starts getting really bad. Cancer is boring. Thank you. 